For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Hi everyone. Um, today, in today's video, we wanted to share with you some repairs that we've had to make on the road while living in our outdoors travel trailer. Um, we've been in it about 10 months now. We drove it from Oregon to Florida and then we've gone back and forth from Florida to New Jersey and right now we're in the New England states at the top of New York. We really do like the travel trailer but we wanted just to be honest with you and let you know that things do break on the road and it's really nice if you're handy and can do some of the repairs yourself but we have had two experiences where we've had to go out and have a dealership make the repairs for us and that took a little bit of planning and organization especially if you're living in the travel trailer full-time so here we go on the, all the repairs that we've had to make okay the first thing we wanted to tell you about is our refrigerator that broke this was a big ordeal for us um, we were without a refrigerator for 51 days. So what happened was we were cooking one evening. It was dark. We were in Florida in the middle of February and we had started to smell this really strong smell inside the RV. And we started looking around and I thought, what have I done? What am I cooking? What kind of rag did I leave laying around? Turns out it was our freezer and the freezer um, was um, submitting this ammonia smell. So we immediately um, ran outside. Joe checked the outside of the refrigerator. We turned it off. I immediately went over and got the owner's manual because I thought, well, I'll look and see what I'm supposed to do for an ammonia leak. And um, right on the cover of the manual, it says warning, it could be explosive. Um, it was really an alarming little message. So we went outside. Um, we remembered that um, Thompson RV is in Oregon, so they were three hours different from us, the time zone. So we called them. They actually um, talked us through and, and just made sure we had the windows open and everything was aired out. They suggested that we contact a dealership that was local to us to get, to get the refrigerator looked at and repaired. Because we were in Florida, our dealership is in Oregon, and we really just couldn't get back there easily. So we, we just kind of relaxed a little bit that evening and, and the next morning we had obligations to be in New Jersey in the middle of March. So we thought, well, why don't we try to find a dealership in uh, New Jersey that would maybe do the repairs. We ended up calling Camping World in Swedesboro, New Jersey, and the first appointment we could get was on March 11th. And that was um, just a, yeah, it was like two or three weeks from um, what well, was probably about four weeks from where we were, and that gave us plenty of time to plan, to travel, to get organized, and get up to New Jersey and meet our obligations. Then that morning, I went out and bought a really good um, cooler, one that kept the ice cold for you know a few days, and we immediately moved everything over into that. Um, it turns out I had just gone to the grocery store, of course, that's always the way it works. So we had tons of food, so we ended up cooking a lot of things so we could go ahead and eat it and, and so things wouldn't go bad. So we went on up to New Jersey, drove on up there, and we ended up staying at a KOA. We parked the RV in the spot at the KOA, got up early the next morning, pulled the travel trailer over to Camping World. They diagnosed that the problem was a ammonia leak and there the refrigerator probably needed to be replaced. I don't know if you've ever dealt with warranty issues before. This was our first time and it really is a long process. Basically Camping World had to look at the RV first before they can actually even um, contact Norcold. They had to have a certified technician diagnose the problem. Then they contacted Norcold. It took about a week for Norcold to get back to them. Um, approve the repairs, then the repa oh, parts had to be ordered, they had to come in through Camping World, and then we had to bring the travel trailer back to Camping World to get the repairs done. So all of this took until April 9th to get done. So our refrigerator went out in February, um, mid-April, we actually got it repaired. But it was a whole planning process. It really took time to organize where you were going to get the repairs done, find a place to stay. Um, we actually ended up traveling to Maryland for a little bit and then back to New Jersey. It was really a coordinated type of effort. 
Another issue we had to deal with had to do with our truck. We were in St. Augustine in Florida and someone backed into our, I don't, we're not sure what they did because we weren't there. They basically ran into our bumper. We have the F-250. It's the King Ranch and it's a pretty heavy duty bumper. So someone really hit it to put that big of a dent into it. We ended up deciding to go through our insurance company and getting the repairs done through Geico. They were really good. They took the claim, but it was another thing that you had to just plan for to get the repairs done. We were in Florida. We were staying at Stephen Foster State Park for 14 days. So we, and that was in White Springs, Florida. The repairs had to, were gonna be done at Crash Champion in Jacksonville, Florida. So we ended up having to take the truck over there. They had to look at it, order the parts, and we were hopeful that everything would be done smoothly by the time we needed to check out of the campground. Luckily, Geico gave us a rental car, so we were able to come and go from the campground and do some fun things there while we were there. And luckily, the parts came in on time. We were able to get the truck back the day before we had to check out of the campground. We didn't have any issues with moving the um, travel trailer. It all worked out really smoothly. All of this was very frustrating and it took a lot of extra time and it took time away from our fun time and that was the part I think that was the most challenging. So these are things we just wanted to share with you. Life on the road is not always like perfect. There are things you have to deal with from time to time and the best thing to do is just be patient. Maybe try to get the, what we try to do is get the repairs done where we have family members around. We have family in New Jersey, family in Florida so we could visit and also um, get the repairs done while we were there. The next thing I want to tell you about are some fixes that we've had to do ourselves in the RV. Um, these are things that we have just decided to repair ourselves instead of taking it to the dealership. Our dealership is in Oregon, so we've decided that it's easier since we're on the East Coast to just take care of these things as they break. The first thing, traveling down the road, one day we came back into the travel trailer and we noticed that um, some of the stove burners had um, moved, had flipped over. So luckily we were able to open up the stove and find the little screws and screw the burners back into place and that was a pretty easy fix. The next thing we dealt with when it broke is the balance above the recliners. This, these have come down a couple of times and it's kind of gotten to be a little annoying and a little bit of a joke actually. So this past time, Joe put them back up with, he put them up with four hooks instead of two hooks that they were sitting on. We also put some double-sided tape on the back of the um, balance. So we're hoping these stay in place as we're traveling down the road. We have had this piece of wood come off under the, it's a storage area underneath the, mat, the queen bed and it has come loose so we just screwed it back and everything works fine. This drawer under this cabinet here was one of the first things that broke and it was um, the slides, the bearings came out of the slides. So Thompson RV was really good when I talked to them about this and they actually sent us new um, slides. We installed them and the drawer works really well now. We also had this drawer come open one time when we were traveling and it messed up the top of the wood here a little bit, which I'm gonna fix with some brown paint. I just haven't gotten to that yet. And Joe was able to take the little hook, move it up a little bit, and now it fastens really securely and we have not had this come open anymore during the travel days. We have had two leaks from outside come into the RV. They have not been from the roof. So far the roof is holding up really good, no problems there. One leak was through the refrigerator vent on the outside of the RV. It seems like the top part of the vent was not sealed and when the awning came in and all the water came back against the RV, it um, leaked in and didn't cause any damage. We were able to get the water up very quickly and get it dried out, no issues there. The second leak we had 
was under the kitchen sink, one of the little um, screw things on one of the um, the water lines came loose and it leaked. We caught that immediately and got that screwed back tight and no problem so far. But we do check under the sinks periodically just to make sure there are no issues there. We did replace um, this faucet in the bathroom sink. The original one that came with the RV was pretty low and it was hard to wash your hands without hitting the back of the sink. So we replaced it with this higher faucet which works really well now. I really like it. And we also added this cabinet in the bathroom for towels and small Things, small hand towels and washcloths and this is working out really good. We attached it with some screws. We also put some double-sided tape behind it and it has held up really well and I'd say it's been up for about six months now. We have had two issues with our doors. Um, the screen door did not close all the way. So it looks like it might have been bent just a little bit, but we actually put some molding around it and that has helped and there's no issues there any longer. The same thing with the door that opens underneath the bunk beds to the out door storage area. We had to put some molding there because it looks like the frame is bent a little bit there also. Again, we could have gotten all these things taken care of at the dealership, but it just seemed like an awful long drive for things we could really fix ourselves. We really do like our outdoors travel trailer. We just wanted to share with you some of the issues we've had over the first year so that you would see that um, it's not always fun and things are not always perfect in a travel trailer, especially when you're living in it full time. But things have worked out really well for us. We do like the frame on the outdoors RV. We love the lot more space that we have. We love the insulation. There's just a lot of things we do love. Joe's working on a video next um, that's going to give you a tour of the inside of the RV so that you'll see um, some of the things we've, more things we've done to it and the way we're living in it. Um, have a great day and we'll see you soon. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.